check-in call from a representative. What? What? A check-in call from a representative? I'm sorry you guys weren't able to... Wait, is that my Bochi voice? I'm sorry you guys weren't able to take it further. I really thought you had a team that could do it. What? The offseason's not done, dumbass! We've just got a taste of the postseason! Uh, it's important to stay in touch with the needs and wants of my people, which is why I'm calling. Get to it! I got a World Series Game 7 to get to! Are you content with your situation in San Francisco? Yeah, it is! I gotta go play Game 7, Agent! Do you even watch baseball? Oh, uh, wait, look, 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 here's that. Good, good, good. I like happy, content clients. Enjoy what's left of your vacation. What vacation? We're going to play Game 7 of the World Series! I think my agent's a dipshit! <laughs> Why would he call before Game 7 and be like, Sorry you lost, kid! What? Sorry you lost, kid. Are you happy in Frisco? I am flabbergasted. I don't even know what to say. Game 7 of the World Series. At home, this is what baseball is all about. Win and we win the series, lose and... Well, Cleveland does. You know, we played Re the Reds in the National League Championship Series, right? So were we just doomed or destined to play uh, Ohio teams at the end? Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. Our agent's a dumbass. Let's prove that idiot wrong by winning game seven. You can see we've won the last two straight. The last one, we really crushed them. Please, 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 let Santana pitch this game. Please don't be Detweiler. Listen, come. All right. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch. Coming up next. The very last game of the year. This is so cool playing game seven at home. I'm gonna go punch the agent in the nuts though. <laughs> Maybe he thought he was calling someone else. I doubt it though. Because he says San Francisco had the right team. If we win, we should send him a World Series winner hat, you know? Nothing makes you feel better than having an agent that pays that much attention to your career. And briefly here, a glance at the two stars. Yeah, Salazar has done great in the postseason, unfortunately. He pitched really good last time we played against him. That does not bode well for us here in game now seven. A moment here for the Indians starting lineup. H, what's the key if they want to be crowned world champions here tonight? Well, Matt, they've really been struggling the last three or four games to score runs. They haven't been able to execute a bunt. They haven't been hitting and running. They haven't been doing the little things that maybe might jump them. And the biggest thing, the power has disappeared. So they've struggled the last three or four games. It's about to come. come. You need to have a career game. In the World Series. I don't need to. I don't mean to pressure him more, but the pressure's on. <laughs> well, Matt, last outing. So fuck it up. Gave him six full innings, but he took the loss. But if you give this club that kind of a quality outing, a lot of times you're going to walk away with a W. If he does that again this game, I think he's got a chance to win. Let's take a look at the Giants' defense brought to you by Majestic. I feel so Brad, Brad, I feel so bad for Brandon Moss. No, for Brandon Belt. That's the Brandon I mean. Because Brandon Belt played really good during the season. He started maybe about half the season at first. And he's not going to start at all in the postseason. He's only got to... I think he DH'd when we were in Cleveland. So they're having an awesome postseason. His World season, Series numbers are still a little bit down. But he's done well getting walks. And last game he was like 3 for 5. Doesn't make me feel good seeing you know who over there on deck. But whatever. This is hopefully our game. Two outs. Nobody on. Bottom of the first. Into the windup and the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got to make him throw some pitches because he's definitely a good pitcher. And this is going to be a foul ball. Oh, that's one he's going to win right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. 
Oh, good job going from the fastball to the changeup, speeding up, uh, change up speeds. Speeding up changes. Shut, 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 changes. One, two count. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Come on, get through the gap. Thank God. Technics had a hard time hitting it through the gap against Cleveland because their infield has played so good. Key to the game, not stranding runners. Games we strand runners, we lose. Moss at the plate. Yeah, you better be scared of the dick. His hand in what? There's the first baseman, Brandon Moss. And a pitch out. And a bad choice for the pitch out. We're being a little more patient, though. It's a shame those numbers weren't in the World Two Series. If Brandon Moss had four wins, I think we would have already, or four, I should say, home runs, I think we would have won the series. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. Whee! And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's come on, Tug Dick. Part of the reason he made the All Star team, well, part of it is he was hitting close to 400. But the other thing is he's been stealing bases left and right. You don't stop now. Oh, he, his head almost went up that dude's butt. That'd be awkward and unpleasant. I see you had a taco for lunch. That wasn't exactly Nasty. a steal situation with two outs Whee! and a runner on second. Oh no! <laughs> I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score. Two one count to Moss. Ways. Come on, Moss. All you need is a hit, and we got the lead. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Swing and a line drive. Just don't hit it at me. Foul. Get a hit. Two two count. Right now, a little change up, follow up with the fastball. He's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change up. Again, he sends it out of stay. Play. Uh, it's not gonna stay fair. Two outs here with a runner at third. I do like that uh, they've made him throw almost 20 pitches already. This will be number 20 right here. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays. Oh, thank God! I thought that was strike three. Full count. Buster Posey would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Let's keep it alive. Make him throw all those pitches. Where is our mount so we can get to the bullpen? Here's the three and two. I hate you, Moss! Brandon time. Moss fails again. Strikes out. Tied ball game after one. Still scoreless here on MLB Network. Oh, I am so sick of him. Why can't they trade him? I should have told my agent, can you get Brandon Moss traded? <laughs> Be like, hey, Brandon, I got the best agent. He'll get you the best deals. Top of the third. Oh no, two outs. Bases loaded. This could be horrible. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This is Come on, Tug Dick. There we go. Gotta catch that. Yes! They leave three guys stranded. Thank God Dick got under that. We got your back, Lindsay Come. Our team's committed two errors. I wonder if that's part of the reason the bases were loaded. You don't want to be committing any errors in the World Series. Definitely not two. Tug Dick one for one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tug Dick. Tug Dick. Pitcher over on first. Interesting. Two outs. Bottom of the third. First offering on its way. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Oh, that's, that's all right. That's not a pitch. He wants back. You're not going to get many balls right. No, I don't want that pitch back. From a top level. That pitch is garbage, like Salazar. How you feel about that? Keep throwing pitches. Wear that arm out. Oh, one pitch on its way. There's a swing and a drive. Come on, please carry. Keep, please carry. Come on, Win. Blow that thing. Goodbye. Two run home run. Game seven. Tug Dick dicking it out. I don't know if that counts for the splash counter. I don't know if it got far enough. What's up now, Salazar? Told you I didn't want that other pitch back. Tug Dick was waiting for his. As the Giants have taken a two to nothing lead. You know, I kept saying he had 17 hits, home runs in the regular season. I was wrong. I looked it up. He had 15 home runs in the regular season. He's now had eight home runs in the postseason. As 
He has more than ha uh, like half of what he had in the regular season and the postseason. This guy is just so dang strong that he's able to muscle it to the opposite field and get it out of here. Almost isn't fair to us mere mortals. Man, he just killed that thing. Well, I don't think that's far enough to come for the splash counter, but still a huge home run. One for two on his line so far in the game. Oh no, we're down by three runs. Come on, San Francisco. You dickheads. Tug Dick gets you a 2 0 lead and you squander it. In the air after straight away left. Oh, and he missed it. Oh no, how's he missed that? That's not good. Get that home. Rounds the corner and is headed home. And a relay to the plate. He dropped the damn ball. He might have had him otherwise. Oh my word. Well, that error has got to really sting. Anytime a run scores because of an error, it eats at you, but especially when he comes around from first, I can't believe Tug Dick didn't catch it number one. He was the right there. Throw. And then number two, it was a bad throw by the cutoff man. We still had a chance to get the guy at third. This is not bode well. I am so mad at the pitching though. Uh, they might not have got him there. On second thought, but I'm so mad at the pitching that they gave up five runs. Digging in to try it again. We're down Jason six to two. Points. Fuck it's you, idiot pitchers! Oh my score. god, you guys suck like Brandon Moss. One here it comes. Tries to go the uh -oh. other way. Run, Dick, run! And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Man, catching the shoelaces right there. Tug Dick, two for two. He's having a killer game. Great postseason, but our team. Come on, man. Two for two, including a home run. We are down seven to two. Runner at first, two outs. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. I am beyond pissed right now. The dick rage is going on at the incompetence of our team falling apart here and some bad coaching. Let it all fly. He let the dog out right there. I want to see if he calms it down or does it again on this. No, he's swinging for the fences again. Fuck it. The 01 pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Backhanded. Off balance throw. That was actually a really good throw. Their infield has done a great job. For San Francisco. They're down five. It's seven to two. We, our team has committed three errors. That is not what you want to have happen in the World Series. Into the box now, Alexi Ramirez. Top of the six, runner on first, one out. We're still down by five. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. There's a swing and Make that six. Our pitching has been all. Oh, actually, make that more than six. Make that eight. Our pitching has been a shit sandwich. A two-run home run off the bat of Alexei Ramirez. His second home run of the series, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Come on, team. We need some miracles here. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you can tell that it affected him. He was fuming, and he really wanted that last pitch. And the result, he was fuming. He I am fuming now. Our pitching has been awful. Tug dig two for three. We're down ten to five. Bottom of the seventh. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. We need a huge rally. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. That's a nice pitch. A fastball in that jams him, and now you go back outside. You know he's got to protect inside. You go back outside to try to get the out. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Man, five runs. We got a lot of runs to make up. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. One, two count. The one and two pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, and the fastball good pitch right inside. It's definitely been an emotional series. It's and not nice a. Oh, don't show you me your butt. How rude. How rude. See, Tugnick is like, I cannot believe he showed me that butt. <laughs> Tug Dick, two for four. We can see a runner sitting on third on his invisible chair. Two 
A lot of support from the fans right there. We're down by three runs, runners on first and second. Tug Dick could be the tying run. Top of the eighth. He's set, here it comes. Oh, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. Well, we definitely need a big hit right here. Trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. 1-0 count, here it is. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. 2-0, oh, they must be a little scared of him after that home run earlier. It could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. I say this is probably going to be the best pitch we're going to get. Hit sharply on the oh, right at the second baseman. The, relay, not in time as he beats the, throw the important thing, though, is we got to run home. We have cut the deficit to two runs. Lugly thinks to tug Dick's speed. It was not a double play. We got a chance to steal second yet. And the Simeon stays alive. So striding in, Brandon Moss. Last time through was a base hit. Now some movement in the trial. Bottom of the eighth, only down by two. Brandon Moss represents the tying run. Two outs, unfortunately. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Hey Moss, how about you do that, but out of the stadium? We're going for it. Pitch is high, the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. It was What's up, Ramirez? likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning. All right, we got a runner in scoring position. Do we push it for third? That might be a bad risk. I don't know if we want to make the third out at third. Ready with the one-one pitch. We got the high leg kick though. Took advantage of it. Yes. Come on, Moss. Do not shit the bed right here. We were down by five runs. It's a big risk, especially with a lefty hitter up there. Now we're down by only two. Come on, Moss. You can make that a one-run game or a tied game with one swing of the bat. Once you count for Moss. Ready to deliver the one and two. Good eye. Ball stays way up that time for ball two. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might Moss just to lean way over the plate so they beam you. <laughs> Our team has certainly worked hard to try and score some runs and get back with them. They have rocked our pitching today, though. And that's the Screw you, Moss! Screw you with a rusty in nail in the pool hole! Moss shits the bed again. So Dick at least got a run in. We're running out of innings. We got one inning left to try and get two runs and tie this thing up. Indians 10 and the Giants 8. Back now in Northern California's Bay Area. We're set to continue. Here's Carlos Santana now. He comes into this appearance in the middle. All right, we got to get it out here, and then we've got to get two runs. Even two strikes. Here's the pitch. There's a run, tick, tick, run, tug, run. See, Tug was smart enough to shift back over. Bochi had him almost in center field. We need a miracle here, though. We've got to get two runs. Come on, Jose Correa Crawford. I hope they put Belt in for Correa. Come on, guys. Get those two runs. Keep it alive. And we lose a heartbreaker. An absolute heartbreaker. In game seven at home. We were so close. We lose to the Cleveland Indians. Well, congratulations to the Indians. They outplayed our team. Well, nobody was good to say they didn't get their money's worth in this one. It took seven games, making this one of the most competitive and historic World Series in baseball history. So they earned this one, and they can now call themselves the World Series champions. I guess now our uh, agent can be like, see, I told you you'd lose. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. That is such a disappointing loss. We were so close. I've said it though in the last few games, what cost us the World Series was Brandon Moss to the number four spot and how many guys we left stranded, not just because of him, but primarily because of him, just shit lineups. Now, once in the World Series do we have a good lineup 
opposing belt in four and five. Chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs. That could have been us. That should have been us. Well, it was a hell of a season. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you sticking around. It was a blast to play. Um, how long is this screen going to go on for? <laughs> Talk about disappointing, though. We lose 10-8. Tug Dick 2 for 5. Game tonight for the I'm so beyond disappointed. I thought we had a chance. And we did have a chance. I mean, we forced it to 7 games. We only lost by 2 runs, but... That killed us with a number 4 hitter doing so bad. And our pitching totally got rocked in that last game. If we would have had a good pitching outing, that might have been different. What are you going to do? So let's take a look at the, uh, what is it, awards? Bochi. We won the playoff MVP. Wow. So if we go to the uh, National League. Can I go to the National League? What the hell? I'm hitting the button. Oh, okay. The World Series MVP you can see was Charles Driver. Postseason MVP for the National League was Tug Dick. Brandon Moss was two seasons ago. Wait, Moss wasn't the World Season M Series MVP two years ago? I had that wrong. He was the playoff. John Jaso was. We unfortunately lose. Tug Dick had a career year hitting 381, won the batting title, postseason MVP. And we come one game short of winning it all. I don't know, it's mixed feelings. Later on, I'll be like, yay, it was a great season. Right now, I'm so disappointed we were that close. So mad at Bochi with the crap lineups. But it was still a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me, all. I appreciate it. It's been a blast. And hopefully, I'll see you all next year. Take it easy, everybody.